Norman Carter Sides, Clarice and Carl. Clarice, are you? Are you having an affair? Now why would you ask me something crazy like that? Maybe because you're getting ready to pour gravy in the wine glass. I don't know what's gotten into me. That's what I'm trying to find out. If something has gotten into you. Carl, I can explain. No. Are you having an affair? It's not what you think. Then what do I think? You think I'm having an affair. Then are you saying you're not? Not exactly. What does not exactly mean? Carl. Clarice, no. What does not exactly mean? I kissed another man. I didn't plan for it. It just sort of happened. Your lips just sort of happened to find itself against another man's. Who was it? I bet it was that, that gap too fool on the job, um, Reggie. It was him, wasn't it? It's not Reggie. Then it was the dick in that church coming around a pew every five seconds. It's not Deacon Freeman. The doggone Clarice, who was it? Was somebody around here? Can't even walk out of the house without some fool drooling all over you. I didn't think you even noticed it. Clarice, who was it? It was Micah. <laughs> you must think I'm stupid. Now, what would a young, good-looking man like that want with a woman as... As what, Carl? You know, as married as you. Are you sure that's what you were going to say? Look, don't try to turn this around on me. You kissed another man. Yes, I kissed another man. I kissed the landscaper, and it was good. That good, young-looking man wanted to kiss me, and I wanted him to do a whole lot more. He looked at me like I was beautiful, and I felt beautiful. You might not understand what it means for a woman, but for me, it was everything. You know, if that's your way of apologizing, that's got to be the sorriest apology I've ever heard. <laughs>